everyone and welcome to my channel. Make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss a new video or a live stream and give me a big thumbs up at the end of the video. Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am here today setting up my mini happy planner that I'm currently using for budget planning and this is a planner that I build um, into a budget planner it's not the actual budget planner that was released by happy planner um, but what I did was use some of the um, pages that came out of the mini budget expansion pack and what I'm currently using is just the monthly view and then I am using um, some sheets of paper because I'm using a sticker kit and this month I'll be using a sticker kit from Jane's diary she sent this to me to test out because I had asked her and asked her about making a mini kit and she made it and I want to go ahead and set up my um, planner for the month and give you a review on what I think about the stickers so far they are gorgeous I'm loving the colors I love the fact that even though it's got the Valentine's Day theme, it's not all the traditional pinks and all of that good stuff. It's super cute. It's like the teal and this is like a like a deep red, but it's really, really cute. I really like this. So I'm not an expert at using these kits yet because budgeting has not been a friend of mine, but I'm trying to get better. Um, so. How I'm going to be doing my spread I'm just going to show you the layout because at this point I'm not um, I'm not gonna say that I'm not comfortable but my budget and my bills and my debt I don't want to share that much information with you guys but I want to show you how I set up um, this part and then I will also show you how I set up my weekly spread now I am going to set this up a week in advance um, but what I am using right now is the mom dashboard layout and I'll show you how I set this up just to track what I have to pay for the week so stick around so this kit is so cute um, as I stated earlier this is from Jane's diary and this is her mini budget kit um, being that it is a mini kit, some of the things that come in the, um, I guess you call it the classic size or the size that you could use in your classic Happy Plan or Erin Condren. You don't get all of the stickers, um, but for me, um, this works perfect because um, as you'll see later in the video, I won't use all of these stickers just because um, I'm self-employed, so some of my paydays aren't actual paydays. Um, I don't get weekly paychecks and things of that nature, so I tried to make this work um, based on how my finances work, and that's what I like about being able to lay these stickers however I want to. I don't have to be um, restricted on how the budget layout is. Um, because most of the budget planners it really doesn't work for me so I'm really loving these kits because um, basically as you can see I can customize them however I want to I can lay my you know bill due stickers wherever I want to I can lay my expense trackers wherever I want to and I can put it exactly um, in the way that I function um, so I'm really really enjoying this kit so right now what I'm using is a um, ruler that I actually got um, from Erin Condren when I did have an Erin Condren planner um, and it's perfect because I can see where I'm putting the lines um, and it's the length of the paper so I don't have to worry about the ruler being too short um, so this is working out perfect for me Um, now these stickers, they do pull, peel up really good if you need to reposition them. 
Um, and I like that because a lot of times when you get stickers and you lay them down on paper, sometimes it'll pull up the paper and that is a headache. So I like the fact that I could pull that little part up and it didn't tear my paper and I didn't have to re um, adhere it with some type of double sided tape or glue. So these build do stickers are perfection. I like that they fit perfectly at the bottom and it still leaves me enough space if I needed to add more of these stickers or if I need to write something in. Um, now I do have a lot of bills, which is cool. Um, you know, at some point in time, all of us have. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just in each box on the days that I have multiple bills, I'll just put the total amount of that I have to pay for that day and then I'll use my weekly spread to see what the actual bill is for that week. Um, now because this is a mini kit I did run out of stickers so I used some of these cute stickers from my girl Shea Budgets um, and added them um, to the last few days of my spread. Okay so this is the first half of how I set up now my bills and things like that in my income is very different from someone that gets a paycheck every week every two weeks every quarter what have you I'm self-employed so I get paid daily and um, so I had to kind of try to figure out how to make this setup work for me so what I decided to do is to do this front sheet which will be my monthly income so I'll track how much I get paid in total every week. And then here I'll put what my total income was once I add all of those um, weeks up. And then here I decided to put my debt tracker. And what I would do is put um, whatever debt that I have with, on this particular sheet. And then the back I just leave it blank just because. So here is where I put my bills, and yes, I do have a lot of bills, but I am a entrepreneur, so I have other expenses outside of personal bills. Um, so I will list all of my bills here, the amount and the dates that's due. And I like this, it's very clean, it's very basic. I don't need any bells or whistles. So then on my monthly expenses, I did a separate sheet as well, and this will be where I put anything that I buy any money that come out of my pocket that is outside of my bills so I will track everything on here um, so what I did is because I actually have multiple bills that do on certain days um, so what I do is put the total amount that I have due on that specific day and then when I go through and do my weekly setup I can break down exactly what I have to pay on that day so that's why I wanted to have a weekly spread so I can actually break it down and let me know I have this amount to pay which equals whatever the total amount is on that day um, as you can see I ran out of stickers so I had to use my girl Shea budget stickers I have bought some extra bill due from her mini kit so and it matches it's got that same kind of reddish kind of vibe so I added that here and this is where I'm going to put my savings goal. I'm going to set an amount that I want to save. And then I'll probably put like a tracker here just to track how much I put into my savings each day. So that's that for the monthly setup and for um, the actual kit. I like the kit. Um, again, I have to get used to 
making it work for me because my income and the way I get paid is not like everyone else's so I didn't really get to use a lot of the stickers um, especially like the um, sinking fund right now I'm not doing a sinking fund um, and my credit card bills I could use that I may use it on the actual day in the weekly spread um, I'm looking forward I'm looking forward to the day I can use the pay off stickers and the payday stickers um, I may just put them in there just on because because typically what I do is um, so on Saturday that's the last day of the week that I work I normally get all of my final deposits and on Monday so I calculate my deposit and my cash and I normally um, track that on a Monday so I could actually put these down on Mondays as if they were my paydays so I can track each week right there and um, that's about it so I'm gonna go ahead and set up my weekly spread and again um, I'm not gonna actually start this until the third just because we are already in um, so we're still in January but I want to go ahead and get this set up so I can be ready to go for February Okay, this is probably one of the most favorite parts of planning for me, the deco. The deco is what draws me back to my planner. Um, I know I've said this before, um, but for me, it's super important to make the deco cute in my budget planner because one, I don't like paying bills, but I have to. So two, I wanna make this spread um, you know what I'm saying, exciting for me to want to go back and check it. Um, and I felt like I wanted to do more than just add build do stickers. Um, so as you'll see, as it gets further into the video, I add some cute pops of color and some foiling, um, some stickers that had some like foil into it and some florals. Um, and I really think this week I'm gonna be very, very good with going back and forth and checking my budget planner and checking things off and just being more consistent. Um, it's functional, cute, and it works for me. So hopefully um, this whole setup right here will also help in giving you some ways of using your dashboard layouts because this is a kind of challenging layout to um, use, especially with that top part, because the way those boxes are at the top, you have to either have a really large sticker if you wanna do some covering up, or be really creative with you know your layering text techniques. Um, the right side is pretty easy, but that left side is a little tricky um, to kind of catch a groove, but I think in this spread, I feel like I'm starting to master the dashboard layout. I really feel like I'm getting comfortable with this layout um, and the reason why I say that is because y'all see that I've started adding that little bit of layering effect that I normally do um, in my happy planner spreads and I really thought that this was cute and different instead of using just the regular bill do sticker or payday sticker you know add a little bit of pizzazz to it by doing a little bit of layering 
And I will honestly say, um, when I do plan in this mini planner, it does make me miss my mini a little bit, um, but just for the decoration part, because I am in love with my tins. Um, I really think that those will continue to be my EDCs um, or catch-alls, um, and like, I don't know. Happy Planner, I'll definitely keep the classic Happy Planners for business and for faith planning, but everything else, I don't know, I might be just migrating to a TN. Um, so right here I'm using these cute stickers that I spoke about earlier um, from Agenda 52 sticker book, and this book is so cute. I don't know why I don't use this as often, and it has a lot of box stickers, so you can use it in any type of planner, whether it be a ring, strings, disc, spiral. This sticker book is perfect in all spreads. spread is complete without a little bit of simply gilded washi. Um, I told myself another thing that I was going to do this year besides stop quartering stickers is to use more washi. The hashtag today is use more washi. So just adding these last finishing touches to the spread and I'm kind of feeling it. I hope y'all like it too. Okay, you guys, so here is my spread in my mini happy planner that I have um, that I'm using for a budget planner. Um, so I wanted to try to stay with the color scheme of the um, spread, in which it was like this pink because I really didn't want to fool with changing the color of the letter on um, the numbers. So I went with a black and gold and pink. Um, spread so um, it's so pretty it's like too pretty to even budget in uh, so I used a lot of random stickers so if y'all have any questions in regards to what stickers I use just drop me a comment I'm going to try to remember to include all the sticker books that I used um, I know I used um, some agenda 52 sticker books um, I used some bill do stickers that came from Probably the Happy Planner sticker book. Um, some of these Bill Do stickers and Payday stickers are just stickers that I've been just hoarding. So I don't even know what sticker book they came out of, to be honest. So with that being said, if it's something specific, I'll try to answer the question as much as possible. 
um, but I am trying to not spend anything for this first full week of February because I will be going on a cruise shortly so I want to make sure that I'm not spending anything unnecessary um, leading up to that trip so I use this cute little sticker that came from um, stickers by Rhonda she comes in different um, skin tones and different hair um, textures so this is super cute and then I'm gonna set me three goals for that week um, one is being a no spin Two, try to save some money for not only the trip but also some money for savings because this year has started off pretty slow um, most of you know I'm a hairstylist so with all the government shutdowns and just people trying to recuperate from the holidays my services are normally the last services that are needed so I get put at the back burner so therefore my income is always a little bit different at the beginning of the year nevertheless God provides and I am provided for so if you like my spread make sure you give me a big old thumbs up as well drop me a comment below any questions drop that comment in there as well you probably won't be seeing any after the pins anytime soon just because I'm trying to um, just get a hold of my budgeting style right now I'm just kind of all over the place so I'm trying to get more consistent in regards to tracking my expenses tracking my budget well creating a doable budget um, and not trying to set my expectations super high just because I'm a firm believer if you're not used to doing something you got to take baby steps you can't just say I'm gonna just go straight in here this is how it's gonna be I mean that's my story but nevertheless here it is um, this video was a little bit lengthy because I wanted you to see how I set up my um, whole setup for the month including the first week of February so again if you like this video give me a thumbs up give me a vote of confidence with those thumbs and look you can tell I've been um, budgeting because these nails need to be done ASAP <laughs> so anyway you guys um, thanks for tuning in and if this has inspired you share this video with one of your planner friends so they can also be inspired to create their own lovely plan so until next time peace watching her lovely plan and I hope that you click that subscribe button and that notification bell.